when the Buddha talks about the wealth of the mind, the very first thing he talks about is conviction, sata, the conviction that this is a good teaching, the Buddha was, really was awakening, and this really is the way to happiness. The reason this is a wealth is because this encourages you to look at your own actions and to make your own actions a lot better. It reminds you that it really does make a difference what you do, what you say, what you think. And that even though things may be, seem discouraging sometimes, that as long as you keep putting in skillful decisions, skillful choices, they're going to have to show their results at some point. But if you're heedless and just give up, okay, then there's going to be trouble to pay down the line. That realization is what makes all the difference in the world. You realize you really do have to be heedful, you really do have to be careful about what you do, and you have to have the ability to keep encouraging yourself, okay, this does make a difference. Because sometimes the results of your actions come out right away, and sometimes they take a while. And you can't let the fact that they're not giving the results as quickly as you'd like discourage you. There's a woman up in Canada who asked the question, I'm just getting started in my meditation about how long should I give it before I decide that I'm no good at the meditation. I told her the story of this couple in Tsarist Russia who were forced into exile twice, and so they had to walk across Siberia twice. And there's one part of their story, they were walking on a cold wintry day and it was really icy and the wife slipped and fell on the ice and she was stuck on her back. And the people trudging behind them tripped over her, so there was a huge pile of people tripped and falling on the ice. So the husband goes over and extends a helping hand to help her up, and as before she gets up, she says, How much longer must we go on suffering? And he said, Markovna until death. <laughs> she said, So be it. And she got up. She got up. The person who told the story said this is quintessentially Russian. And but the determination they had, I mean, the fact that they felt they had to suffer until death, that's not all that encouraging. But the fact that you have to stick with the practice until death, that's an important part of conviction, that you don't give up. If you give up, then you just kind of get sent back to your old bad karma from the past again. So what you want to do is stick with it through thick and thin. When the practice goes well, you stick with it. When it doesn't go well, you stick with it, because it's only through sticking with it that you can build up the momentum, that the goodness of your actions finally will prevail. So you've got to have that kind of conviction until death for it to really make a difference and for it really to go into the dark parts of your mind that sometimes say, I'm going to give up. This isn't worth it. You can't listen to those voices. You've got to listen to the voices that say, look, the Buddha did this, all these other people did it, and it wasn't that they were born anything special. But they made themselves special through their determination, even when it looked dark. So don't let the darkness get, get over you, overcome you, because there are people who are born into darkness and then find their way to light. And there are also people who are born into light and they find their way into darkness. So you don't want to be the latter kind, you want to be the former kind. So this is why conviction is such an important wealth, even when you're lacking in other forms of wealth, as long as you've got the conviction that there is a way out of this suffering. It may take a while, but you're going to stick with it. That's where persistence comes in and helps. Those two qualities, you know, conviction and persistence, those will see you through.